So in this video, we're going to be covering some of my new goals and new training approaches. So let's get to it and I'll give you all the info. What's up guys, Ken from Service USA here. So, like I said in this video, I'm gonna be covering uh, basically my new uh, training program and also going over the goals I've set for myself. Um, you know, I've been working with a new diet guy or I've been working again with a previous um, diet coach, a nutrition coach, uh, Andrew Triana. His Instagram handle is here. And I've also been working with a um, Training coach, training programming coach, uh, Jenny Todd, hers is here again, or not again, but there too. And basically I worked with Jenny from, I've been, or been working with Jenny from November. She helped me prep for my last strongman contest. Um, and then I've been working with Andrew on and off since 2015, I think it is. Um, and I always liked Andrew's approach and I always felt I had great results once I got into the diet. And with Jenny, I just needed a set of fresh eyes. So if, if, you've been, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you will know that I have been doing Strongman for like 15 years. And I also own a business called Cerber Strength USA, Cerber Strength and all this stuff. And we do, you know, knee sleeves, belts, all that sort of stuff. And when this comes out, we will also have pre-orders on cast iron plates. Uh, that's our first um, foray into the hard equipment uh, market. So, with that said, basically what was going on with me was I've done, I've done Strongman for like 15 years. I've won Scotland's Strongest Man. I've competed at Britain's and Europe's and Arnold a couple of times, or a number of times in different countries and stuff like that. And, you know, I almost qualified for Worlds in 2017 at the North American Championships. Um, probably the best ship I've ever been in was that year. And with the business and just life in general, I can't put enough time into strongman anymore, to put it mildly. So with that said, I decided, you know, I want to start enjoying training again and not being super stressed about it and super stressed about, you know, not hitting numbers I used to and all that sort of stuff. So I decided for the whole of 2020, oh, excuse me, for the rest of 2020, I should say, and then honestly, the way it's looking right now, probably a good part of 2021 as well, I am going to set myself the goal of just putting on a ton of muscle, trying to get as lean as possible, and really enjoying training. Now the big thing that I have found uh, with this type of training now, where it's all hypertrophy based and superset based and all that sort of stuff, is that I can have a super stressful day at work and then come in and have a really, really good session because I'm not sitting trying to get amped up for a max lift. So, with that said, today was week five, day one. Um, some new stuff today. So basically the way the training is broken down right now is that uh, it's full body three days a week and then day four is a power development day. So if you've uh, seen some of my stuff on Instagram, the sandbag, the sandbag over shoulder, that is the power day. And I will probably do the next video on the power day. Uh, so today is day one. We've got... Um, Front squats and then two supersets, one lower body orientated, one upper body, and then finishing off with an ab exercise. And uh, basically, one big goal I have is I really want to um, lean out my legs because that's where I hold a lot of my fat aside from my stomach. And I want to develop that massive VMO. So lots of front squat. And honestly, it's just a gut check. You know, we start every single session of those three, uh, three regular sessions with a 20 rep front squat. And then we go and do the rest of it. So uh, without further ado, let me stop talking and let's just get to it. Okay, so exercise one, like I said, front squats. The big reason I am doing front squat, aside from the whole leaning the legs out and trying to get as much muscle on there as possible and developing that big VMO, is that this is really helping my conditioning, I think. Uh, you know, to start every single session with 20 rep squats, it sort of sets the tone for the rest of the session. So to come in, you know, warm up, I like to hit the bar, I've got, my knees are not bad, but I just feel it in my knees at times. So I really try and, and, and stretch and get down as deep as I can, try and loosen up my quads and all that sort of stuff before I even get into the working sets. And then as I go, because we're going for a 20 repper, I don't hit that many reps as I work up. Uh, so I'll hit, you know, maybe three, four sets as I work up, 
five, four, three set, uh, reps per set. And then getting into the big 20 repper. Um, so here is the 20 rep set. When this is 220 pounds, when I first started off in this program, I had to calculate my, or basically test my five rep max. And I don't know if I was having an off day or what, but my five rep beltless front squat ended up being 230 pounds, which was an extremely uh, big surprise to me because I have squatted over 500 pounds in a belt um, multiple, multiple times. So what we're doing here is we're really trying to keep the chest up focus on getting as deep as I possibly can and basically just banging out the reps. The way uh, Jenny and I basically be talking about it is try and break it down into blocks. So, you know, hit eight, five, three, and then two doubles like you see here and really just try and get the work in, not think about it too much and just focus on getting those mini sets done as we work through the main set. Okay, so up next is the first of two supersets. It's the lower body superset. Uh, for this, we've got an inverse curl, for uh, six reps and then a single leg leg press for six to eight. Uh, before I even get into the main superset, I have to calculate or basically find a 12 rep max on the inverse curl. Uh, I've not done this in a long, long time, so this was uh, quite a shock, especially after those, after those front squats. So hit the 12 and then we get into the superset and it's not just hit six and then hit six to eight, it's literally hit six and six to eight and go straight back to inverse curl as for eight minutes, just back and forth between the two, as many sets as possible. Now, if you've not seen an inverse curl before, it's a specialist piece of equipment from Westside Barbell. It's basically helps build a Russian leg curl, which is essentially a glute ham raise, but on the floor and if you don't control your hamstrings on the way down, you're gonna face plant. So I really like it because it lets me control the eccentric extremely slowly. Uh, and then what we'll do is as we move through the weeks, we'll take the weight off and make it harder and harder and harder. And then into the single leg leg press. You know, for so many years I've done heavy leg presses and just banged reps and just tried to be really powerful. Whereas now I'm not going as heavy. Uh, this is actually pretty damn light, just two plates aside, but really trying to focus in on the feel of the muscle and actually really trying to engage and not just fire reps out. Uh, for me, that's one been one of the massive things about this program is that I can actually just come in and I can not go super heavy, but I can be super, super focused on the actual feel of the exercise and, and performing it correctly. And I found I've been getting extremely good workouts specifically because of that and not just trying to be super aggressive and fire reps out and, and be, you know, really powerful, but actually more feel the actual exercise. So now we are going into the second superset of the day, another eight minute superset, but this one is upper body orientated. It is a supinated single arm pull down, supersetted with face pulls. Now again, we have to find the 12 rep max with the, with the uh, single arm, and then we go into the uh, face pulls after that. So basically find the 12 and then start the eight minutes, hit six reps on the single arm, and then 12, sorry, six to eight on the face pull for eight minutes, back and forth again and again and again. So, the single arm stuff is nothing, I've, be, I've not really done this before and I actually really like it. It's, uh, again, lets me go not very heavy today. We, I started with 50 pounds, ended up reducing it down to, sorry, I started with 60, ended up reducing it to 50 pounds, just because as the sets went on, I got tired and I felt my reps were getting sloppy. So I wanted to actually re ensure that I was getting quality reps in there. So reduce the weight, focused on the movement and getting really, really good reps. Same with face pull. Uh, you know, I've done face pulls on this stack with 160 pounds and banged out sets of 20, but one, it's not been superset with something and it's not been for eight minutes long and it wasn't controlled. Uh, there was some control, but nowhere near the level of control I'm doing here. So this one, we started with 80 and eventually dropped the 60 again because I felt the reps were getting sloppy and I really wanted to focus in on that, um, that, that, that quality of movement, especially because uh, I've had some shoulder issues in the past and one thing that I've noticed is that my, my uh, rear delt and my lat on my right side that doesn't fire as correctly as it should. So I really want to focus in on the movement and make sure I'm doing it correctly. Now, to finish up, it's just an ab exercise. Um, a lot of time in my previous career, uh, I've done, you know, just 
banded curl or banded uh, yeah, banded curls uh, or banded standing curls, cable standing curls, uh, you know, hang and leg raises, all that sort of stuff. But I've never really focused in on the rotational exercises, uh, and this is something we're trying to do here. This is something really new to me. It's a split stance uh, rotational med ball throw. Super new. Still trying to get used to it. You can see me sort of struggling with the balance. Uh, just five reps aside, switching on and off for a minute, a minute rest, and then back for a minute for three sets. Uh, what I actually did with this was for the last set, I don't have the video, but for the last set I took my shoes off and I found that I could actually have way more control because now I could actually feel the floor better with my feet and really grasp it with my toes as I was trying to rotate and generate that power into the wall with the med ball. So there you have it, that was day one, uh, week five, day one. Like I said, just something really new for me. I've, I've not done this hypertrophy, uh, tried to get super lean type of deal before. It's always been about power development, big lifts, uh, and, and contest prep. So for me to be able to take a load off and not focus on a contest, but focus on the business, focus on family life, and but still have really good sessions and really enjoyable sessions, that is something which is, ex I mean, honestly, it's an it's a extreme breath of fresh air for me. So. There's day one, like I said, I'm probably gonna do the next video on the power uh, day, which is day four, uh, sandbag over shoulder, and then some other stuff in there, including uh, sled sprints. So we will, I think it's sled sprints, actually, anyway, there was last week, so I gotta check it. But anyway, until next time, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so you get notifications for all future videos. And until then, keep staying, wow, I am terrible today. Keep training hard and I will catch you then. Peace.